The next step on our quest to parameterize a curve C and find out what this means, we defined what a curve is. Now we need to see what a parameter is. A parameter is an extra variable that you don't see on the graph. Hmm, doesn't sound very useful, does it? However, the coordinates of the points on the graph depend on the parameter. And what's most important is the parameter adds direction to the curve. We often think of this direction as time, and so that's why we often call our parameter t. A curve in two dimensions requires a parameter and two functions. So now we have t as the parameter and x and y, even though we're only in two dimensions. That's why we're not going to be able to see the parameter on the graph. The functions are called components, and we write c equal to vector s of t, and then we use vector notation less than x of t, y of t, and greater than for t between t start and t end. So this is an interval here. And the endpoints of the curve correspond to the endpoints of this interval. And the points in between the endpoints correspond to the inside points of the interval. Let's see what all of this means. So here is a curve. In this case, it's a line segment between the points 1, 1 and 2, 4. And we see the x-axis, we see the y-axis. So the first thing we say is we definitely don't see any parameter t on this curve here. And you might even be emboldened to say, we don't need a parameter here. We can describe this line segment. There's the line it's sitting on. So here's my function, y equal to 3x minus 2. And I even have an interval. x is between 1 and 2. I'm done. That's true. We are done. But there are a couple of problems with this. The first one is th this is rather one directional. It goes from this point to this point. It's very awkward to write x from 2 to 1. It doesn't look right. But that would be the way we would get the direction going this way. So one problem is that this explicit form is one directional. But the most important problem is it's not extendable to three dimensions. There is no way to write an explicit function of a line segment between two points in 3D. We must parameterize. So here we go. So what we're going to do is add a slider, a variable, t, going from 0 to 1. And what we want to do is find a way to describe these points on this line segment in this direction, let's say the opposite direction, so that when t, when t equals 0, that's t start, we're at this point. When t equals 1, that's t end, we're at this point. And between 0 and 1, we have traveled along the line segment. And where what is the formula for this? We take c, that's our curve, s of t, and x of t is equal to x1 plus x2 minus x1 times t. And y of t equals y1 plus y2 minus y1 times t. And you can easily see that this is extendable to three dimensions. We would just say zt equals z1 plus z2 minus z1 times t. So let's substitute. What would we have? This point is our x1, y1. And this is point down here is our x2, y2. And like we said, we want our interval to be t from 0 to 1. So what do we have? Equals. We're just going to substitute. x1 is, is 2 plus, and then we have this 1 down here, 1 minus 2 times t. And then y1 is 4 plus this one here, 1 minus 4 
times t, and what do we get? We get 2 minus t and 4 minus 3t. So writing in proper vector notation, we would have s of t equals 2 minus t, comma, 4 minus 3t, and t is from 0 to 1. Let's check this to see if it works. So here's our check. At t equal to 0, what do we have? t equal to 0, we get the point 2, 4. 2, 4. Good job. At t equal to 1, what do we get? We have 2 minus 1 is 1, and 4 minus 3 is 1, which gives us our other point. And now we're going to try this in GeoGebra and see the point move using this formula from 2, 4 to 1, 1 as we want it to. So now let's make a point down here in the input bar, capital P equal to, and then what do we have? 2 minus T, that's the name of our slider, 4 minus 3 times T. We hit enter. Here's P. And now let's see that as t goes from 0 to 1, p goes from 2, 4 to 1, 1. And we see that it does do this, so that makes our parameterization correct. And we see how parameters give us added information on the curve. So in conclusion, this information right here represents parameterization of the line segment from 2, 4 to 1, 1.